What is up boys and girls out there in YouTube land? My name is Kyle and this is The Barbecue Nurse. Welcome my friends to my brand new YouTube channel, The Barbecue Nurse. Now I'm gonna get a, clear a few things up here right off the bat. Uh, I am not a professional barbecuer nor am I a competition barbecuer. Okay, I am simply a guy that is hugely passionate about grilling and barbecuing. I've been doing it for a long time and I just want to pass on my knowledge and tips and tricks that I may have to you guys to try and help you beginners out there. Uh, second off, yeah, I'm a real registered nurse. Uh, I work in an emergency department here in Central Florida and that's what I do for a living. Now, I know you're thinking to yourself, well, what does a nurse have to do with barbecue? Glad you asked. Answer, absolutely nothing. So, what does it mean for you guys? Well, I'm going to tell you. So, the nursing profession as a whole, uh, I believe it's for the last 15 years. I think it's 15 years or maybe longer than that. Uh, the nursing profession has been voted the most ethical, most honest profession on the face of this planet. Okay, so what that means for you guys is I'm not going to BS you, okay? Everything I talk about is going to be from my personal experience, from my knowledge, and any comparison videos I may do, I'm going to give you the honest to God's truth. I'm not going to lead you down any way or try to sway you guys to buy anything that's not what i'm here for okay i'm here for you i'm here to help you guys okay that's why i'm a nurse i enjoy helping people and so this is just another way for me to help you guys okay all right let's dive right into it all right so because this channel is dedicated to all you beginner barbecuers and pit masters out there. I want to do my first video on things that I think are the essential pieces of equipment that you're going to need to start barbecuing. Okay. So these are things that I believe things that I used. Okay. When I first started barbecuing. Okay. I know it's a little difficult or can be a little difficult for all you beginners out there because there's so much out there. Okay, there's different implements, gadgets, you name it. There's so much out there, and it can be confusing on where to start and what you actually need to get started barbecuing. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down real simple for you. Things that I think you need, absolutely need, to go ahead and start barbecuing. All right, so first off, let's start off with the grilling spatula. All right. Can't flip them burgers with your hands. Well, I mean, you could be pretty painful, but you could do it. I don't suggest doing it because then I'll be seeing you in my emergency room and I don't want to do that. All right. So the grilling spatula, if you notice, it's got a much longer handle than your standard kitchen spatulas. Okay. This is designed for a reason. This is to help keep your hand up and away from the coals as you're flipping your meat. Okay. So that's why I do advise you getting a grilling spatula. Now, can you use your spatula from the kitchen? Yeah, you can. Do I advise you using a plastic spatula? No, not really. You can do it, but you may not have your spatula at the end of your cook. I'm just saying. All right. So really invest in a grilling spatula. Okay, next thing, sorry guys, gonna need a grill brush. Okay, this is gonna help you scrape off all the burnt on stuff and mess from your last cook, okay? You don't wanna take a piece of meat and put it down on a dirty grate, okay? Especially if you got stuff that's stuck to it. If you do that, your meat and whatever you're cooking is going to stick to that. So trying to flip it, or anything like that is going to be a hassle okay so you definitely want to invest in a grill brush okay and a lot of them have the scrapers on them too so you definitely want one of these and there's different kinds but the wire grill brush works just fine oh 
Okie dokie. All right, moving on. So, next thing you really, really need is some grill tongs, okay? I will be honest with you guys. I think I use these things more than any other um, piece of grilling equipment that I have, all right? So if you notice, these are much longer than your standard kitchen uh, tongs, all right? Can you use your kitchen tongs? Yeah, absolutely you can. But again, the premise behind these being long is the same as your grilling spatula. They're long so you can keep your hands away from the coals. You can grab your meat and keep your hand safely back so you don't burn your hand, all right? Okay, all right, so now, what about all those grilling kits that you see in the store? Glad you asked. Here you go. I have one. Uh, my girlfriend got me one for Christmas because the other grilling utensils that I was using before were really on their last leg. Uh, so she bought me um, a grilling set. All right. Now these things are cool because they do come with everything you need. Uh, your spatula, your grill brush, uh, your tongs, even comes with other things like a grill fork, um, skewers, or you want to make kebabs. Um, these things for corn on the cob, I mean, I, I never use them. Guys, I'm originally from Ohio. We're born with corn on the cob in our mouths. Uh, we never use these, all right? If you want to use them, go for it. I mean, that's all you, go for it. I, I personally don't use them. All right, now, one thing I do want to caution you guys about with these grill kits, you have to be careful on what you buy, all right? So for instance, they come with tongs. But if you take a look, look at that. It just gives as soon as you put any kind of pressure on it, okay? I can't pick anything up with that. As soon as I try to grab something, it's just gonna give, all right? So that's why I went out and bought the more sturdier pair of grill tongs. Now, there are kids out there that have very good tongs in them, okay, that don't do that, all right? So you just need to really be careful on what you get, all right? Remember, you get what you pay for, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. So, and if you go to the store and you're shopping for tongs, go ahead and play with them. I do it all the time, all right? Just give them a little tap, tap, tap. There you go. And you'll pick out the right set for you. All right. Okay, so that covers our basic, basic, basic utensils that you're going to need to start grilling and barbecuing, okay? Now, there's some other things that you're going to need. You need to be able to tell what your temperature is on your meat. Well, not on it, but in it, okay? A couple things you can get. First is your basic thermometer, okay? This is just a basic analog uh, thermometer that you can use to stick into your meat and get a good reading on your internal temperature, okay? These things are cheap and they work fabulously. There's not a thing wrong with these. You don't have to worry about batteries dying, screens getting cracked, anything like that. Well, I guess you could, but anyway, they work just as fun. You can also get what's called a thermopin. Now, I just got one of these not too long ago. These things are really cool. Um, it works basically just the same as the bomber. You stick it in, you get an instant read. It's right here. Boom, done, you got your read, okay? These things are really cool, um, and they range anywhere from like $15 on up, okay? But I got this one because I had a bottle open on it, so darn right I'm getting it, all right? Now, I do want to talk a minute about uh, temperature probes, okay? Because these are hugely popular in the barbecue world. Now, do I think you need one? Nope. I really don't. I really don't think you need one at all, especially if you have a thermopin or even an analog thermometer. Okay, as long as you have a way to get a reading of your internal temperature of your meat, you're fine. Now, I'm going to say this. This is a temperature probe here, okay? This is the Thermapro. 
I actually just got this like two months ago. First one I've ever owned, okay? Does it make things easy? Sure does, I'm not gonna lie. This thing was pretty sweet, okay? I, it was so nice to actually just walk out and not have to lift up my lid on my smoker, stick my thermal pin in, try and get a reading, because now my heat's coming out of my smoker. All I gotta do is walk out, look at that screen, and I, I know exactly where my temperature's at. It is nice, I am not gonna lie. But do you need it? Nope, you really don't. Anybody who says you absolutely need one of those has not learned how to barbecue the right way. They look for shortcuts, that's one of them, and that's what they need, okay? I learned to cook with my five senses, and that's what I'm gonna teach you guys to do, okay? I think if you can do that, you are going to be miles ahead of anybody else that claims to be doing it for years, and they've got every high-tech gadget on the market, all right? If you can cook by sight, by touch, by smell, by taste, by feel, and all that, man, you're good, you're good. Okay, now, this is stuff that is going to cover all you guys, it doesn't matter whether you cook on propane grill, uh, pellet grill, um, natural gas, electric, charcoal and wood, all these translate to all those different types of grills, okay? now. If you're like me and you're going to be predominantly charcoal and wood, there's a couple of extra things you gotta get, okay? All right, so first thing, the old chimney starter, okay? So this is how you're gonna start your coals, all right? You fill it up with your charcoal, you put a starter underneath, light it, and you're good to go, okay? You just let it roll until you see all that white smoke stop coming off. You'll probably have flames coming out. That's when you know your coals are good and hot. They're ready to go. This is what you need, okay? Now, I actually have two of them. I've got this one. Um, this one's actually fairly new. I had one just like it, but somehow somebody stepped on it, just saying. So it caved it in, so couldn't use it anymore. Had to go get a new one, but I actually do have a smaller one. Um, I use this one uh, when I don't need to cook with a whole lot of charcoal. You know, if I'm cooking just a very small amount, say hot dogs or something, I don't need to fill this bad boy up. All right, all I need to do is just put the right amount in here, maybe just a few coals in here, maybe about halfway, and that's all I need, okay? So that's why I got the smaller one too. Okay guys, so, got our chimney starters right we're gonna fill it with charcoal and we're gonna light it but how do we get them lit well, I'll show you so there's actually a few things on the market there are fire starters um, I personally use these tumbleweeds I think they work freaking awesome um, really you can see what it looks like here I mean really I think all it is is just like wax covered grass or something i mean i personally i don't know what's in it and honestly i don't care um it just gets the job done all right it work. they work beautifully all you do is light it stick it under your chimney let it go okay all right now there's other ones out there um i think there's like paraffin wax cubes that work just as good but if you don't have any of those that's okay there's other ways to get these things lit um, you can take a bunch of newspaper and shove it up into the bottom here, okay, and light the newspaper. That'll get it going, all right? Um, another trick I learned uh, was use a paper towel. Take a paper towel, fold it up, pour oil, like vegetable oil, canola oil on both sides, and then light it and stick it under your uh, chimney starter, and you're good to go. Now, I don't suggest using uh, just a regular paper towel because uh, it'll go up on you like a fart in the wind. Um, you need to use the oil because it'll make it burn longer um, and burn a little bit hotter and gets the flames up towards the charcoal to get them lit, okay? So there's other ways of getting them started, guys. Now, 
I'm going to tell you guys, please invest in a long stem lighter, okay? You can use a regular lighter. I've did it for years, all right? I also burnt my thumb more times than I can count, all right, trying to get things lit with a regular lighter, all right, especially if it's windy outside. Do yourself a favor, guys. They're not that expensive. You can get them in two packs. Probably get them in more than two packs, but get yourself a long stem lighter. Trust me, you'll thank me later. All right, now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, all right? And that is lighter fluid. Dun, 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 dun. All right, now, seriously, guys, there are two camps in the barbecue world, all right? First camp will tell you don't ever cook with lighter fluid because you'll get the lighter fluid taste on your food, all right? Second camp says ain't nothing wrong with using lighter fluid, all right? Me personally, I'm in camp number two, all right? I have used lighter fluid for years, years and years and years and years. Now, have I ever had times where my food tasted like lighter fluid? Sure have, but if you know how to use it right, you will never get that lighter fluid taste in your food, okay? And I'm probably gonna do a couple videos of cooking with lighter fluid, okay? So you guys know how to do it right. Because if you do it right, you will never have that taste on your food, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my list of the essentials, essential things that you need to get started barbecuing and grilling, okay? So go ahead and leave a comment, guys. What do you feel are some things that you absolutely need to get started barbecuing, okay? Because that's why we're here, guys. Here to help, all right? This is an open discussion, no judgment. Uh, this is a safe zone, which I absolutely hate using that term. But guys, feel free to drop any comments you want, okay? We'll talk about it. And if you got any value out of this video, you found it entertaining, go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know each time I put out a new video every week. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this week. You guys stay safe out there. I love you all. I'll see you next time.